Everybody's waiting for the Facebook IPO. It happens Friday morning. That's even though GM, General Motors, made a very public announcement yesterday that it's pulling its ads from the social network. In fact, demand for Facebook shares is going up. They've just raised the number of shares that they will offer. Here's Ed Butowski, money manager to the rich, rich with a Chapwood Investments. All right, um, Ed, would you buy this stock? I, I, you probably can't get in at the o, uh, IPO price, but would you buy it on the first day? Well, it depends on where it opens up, but Stuart, to kind of frame the conversation, a stock should sell uh, its price earnings ratio should be equal to or close to the growth rate of the company. That's a general rule of thumb. This company is coming public at a 99 PE if it's priced towards the mid-range to the high end, okay? That means Facebook, to justify that, would have to be growing at about 100% a year. And I don't know if it's going to do that. Its growth rate has actually slowed. It's a huge company. Everybody wants it. But would I buy it today? No. Hmm. Okay, but there's enormous buzz about this thing. That's right. I'm not going to class you as one of the little guys, one of the small investors. You, you, you're, you're managing a lot of money here. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But taxi sure. drivers that I talk to, people on the street, they say, hey, how can I get into Facebook? They want a piece. They think it's going to be another Google. They think it's going to be another Microsoft. That's what they think. Well, there's no way of knowing that. And, and if you have a company that's being priced at 100 times, meaning that it has to double next year to justify that price, and if the forecasts right now are for about a 60% growth, anybody who wants to buy it right now is just misinformed and they're getting caught up with the PR because they understand Facebook, Facebook, but they don't understand the valuation. They know how Facebook works, but the only way it would be justified and the only way I would buy it is if someone told me they were going to put a $5 a month charge uh, for every customer. With 900 million customers, that comes out to be $5.4 billion to the bottom line. That's the only way that I would go buy that stock if I knew that was going to happen. Ed Batowski, will you stay there, please? I'm going to deal with the opening Absolutely. bell in just a second and bring you back because Facebook is one of the big stories of the day. Thanks. Uh, stay right Absolutely. there, please, Ed. Uh, Internet stocks took a hit all across the board yesterday when General Motors announced very publicly that it was dropping Facebook advertising because it said it had little impact on consumers. That's a big deal yesterday. The result was a lot of internet shares went straight down yesterday. Groupon was way down. It struggled back up just three cents this morning. LinkedIn shares were down yesterday. And right now, LinkedIn shares are back up to the tune of a buck forty-three. Not that much on a $111 share. Pandora, that was down yesterday because of the GM move out of Facebook advertising. Pandora bouncing back, but not much. 13 cents higher. That's all we got. Let's bring back uh, Ed Butowski. We were talking about Facebook earlier. The, the problem the problem with Facebook seems to be, how do you make money out of it? Okay, they've got 900 million users, but how do you draw right. money out of those users and get it to the company? How do you do it? Well well, that, that's, that, that's really what the whole you know, question is about the valuation because you know, right now, as, as you just said, the question is how can you measure the effectiveness of your advertising? I and mean, we can look and see how many hits are there, but does that turn into business and is it measurable? And that's really the question with all internet companies at this point. So there's a lot of the story to unfold on Facebook and advertising online, everyone just seems to think, oh, it's a good place to go and you have to have it. Well, maybe you do as part of the media mix or part of your advertising mix, uh, but what percentage of your advertising budget goes there and that's really a, a, a debate that's going to go on for a couple of years but specifically with General Motors why mm -hmm. would I respond to a GM ad on Facebook if I'm reading Facebook on my mobile phone it just seems like a juxtaposition responding to a GM ad on a mobile phone looking at Facebook doesn't seem to mix right Right. It really depends on what kind of ad it is. I mean, it's almost like a billboard. You just see the name and maybe it sub somehow subliminally gets into you uh, and you think about it. Uh, unless you get interactive with it and you start doing some surveys and, and you start designing your car. Like, you know, I know shoe companies right now are very big in terms of designing your own shoes. So it really depends on the type of ad. Would I respond to a General Motors ad on Facebook and I go on Facebook? No. I, that's okay. not going to sway me one way or the other. So to sum it up, Ed, you would not be buying Facebook on Friday no matter what happens to the price. You're, you're out of it for Friday at least, right? I have no interest in buying any stock that is growing, that is priced at 100 times PE and is growing it possibly at 60%. That makes no sense to me at all. Uh, anything to disclose on Facebook? Anything of any kind? Nope, don't. I just, I have a Facebook account. That's about it. Man, you're not in this buzz, are you? All right, Ed Butowski. <laughs> not <a> at all. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us.